right fish. beach today to get some uh, free bait some ghost shrimps it's kind of low tide today so no need a wader and here's our uh, first hole there's the first one let's see what we get here get the first two uh, ghost rings really live right here to a uh, good size right here one's a little small so let it go let's get a better size second hole right here <coughs> Three or four, sm three small ones. Let him go. So. good ones right here four ghost rings in one hole here let's get some uh, water Good ones.
Only one big one. here still sitting way down there already tired so just uh, doing it myself yeah, she's gonna be here in a little bit Okay, there's a worm blood worm it's a good bait about 15 20 dollar a dozen blood worm good ones a little deep so gonna need a longer pump <laughs> all right we get four nice ones here nice ghost shrimps actually five five nice ghost shrimps nice ones one little one
on them now. Here. So we got about 70, 80 go shrimp, so they're free. Now I need to wash the pump. for today but we're gonna need more for Sunday maybe more tomorrow let's go here in uh, the river yeah, it's still low tide so less than a foot deep back to the car to the drop now we pump go shrimp in about 25 minutes about 80 to 90 go shrimps so now we're going fishing Slow tide. Yeah. It's a lot. Twenty minutes we're done. Yeah. That's a lot. Kaya mo ba ito? Pahinga pa Hello again everyone It's 3.11pm uh, We just got here at Fiesta Island Today I'm showing you uh, How to rig for uh, Sargo Croaker Bonefish Spot pin croakers And bass So that's how I do it This is uh, uni nut. This will do uh, seven times. It's 
seven times or more you need not push the tag end and goes in the pocket thrust right here first hook right here let's make a loop right here and make a knot do about seven times one two three four five six seven again this uh, 15 pound test dry lean the first uh, branch we're using a long shank hook one or two size so that's one or two so here's the first hook first branch leaders about four to seven inches so again this uh, clinch knot right here so about 10 or 12 turn there tag in trash in the bucket and here's the second uh, hook second branch Two feet apart. So make another uh, branch here. Uh, clinch knot so I have uh, two hooks now and the weight is about five to seven feet long the leader the mono leader 15 uh, size 15 pound test so like I said five to seven feet long leader and another uh, this end make a nut again there's a three ounce uh, <coughs> weight torpedo sinker there's this stun again my uh, <coughs> I really see in uh, 4000 in the red Shimano FX 90 MHB2 right there five to seven feet leader all we have to do now is put some uh, bait go shrimp that we pump okay let's put the first bait here that's the go shrimp that we just pumped today Here's the first bait. 
Look him in the tail. And use the magic thread right here. Just secure the ghost shrimp. Make sure it's not gonna break when you cast. Gonna, it's not gonna fall apart. wrapping this uh, bait thread there it is there's the bait and uh, let's put another one right here Again, just hook him a little bit on the tail and wrap some uh, magic thread. It's elastic magic thread from Amazon. So here we go. Now let's go ahead and cast the cast our bait our line right here. So me and my wife are fishing. We use uh four rods right now. Let's go ahead and cast it. It's right there. Put some alarm. Here's the bell that uh, my friend uh, gave me. Annie and uh, Glenn. Put some bell right here. Right there. And let's make uh, another rig. Now here's the second rod. Casting the second rod is uh, Shimano FX. 4000 same rig just a little uh, lighter sinker one and a half ounce let's go ahead and cast it right there And then put another bell. Just another bell. Make sure it's working. There's the third one. Casting the third. Set the drag first. That is should be good enough. Not too loose, not too tight. Let's go ahead and cast. A little bit further. It's a long rod. It's more heavy duty. This one is the pen pen pursuit. Got a forty pound test line.
think this is the right fish yeah this is a sargo right here Oh no, it's a, it's a short bass. Okay. Yeah, short. Look like a 13, 10, 12 inches. Yeah. It's a bass. I thought it, it's fighting like a sargo. Look like 13, 14 inches. You put your foot down. Put him, put, is, put him uh, on the ground. Put, put him there. Put him, put him down. Yeah. Put, 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 the whole pole. Put that here, over here. Let me see. Let me see. Short, huh? No. Let's go with you, baby. Yeah, but uh, you, want it, you want it? No, I don't. I don't, I don't keep uh, bass. I don't like bass either. Yeah, so you gotta release it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> release it. I do, if they're bigger, I'll keep them, but I don't. Yeah, I, I thought it was a Sargo. Yeah, it's yeah. like a Sargo. Is that the one that was tapping? Tip, tip, tip? Yeah, no, no. Oh, this one? Oh. This one was a thing, it just tore it up. You tip, 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 tip. Yeah, it tore up the bait. It was a small fish. <laughs> Maybe a little uh, perch. <laughs> okay. It's a good fight right there.